Next, Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government. The United States and Vietnam continue to improve economic and trade ties, including through the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a 21st century high standard free trade agreement. The two nations are increasing diplomatic coordination to support a peaceful resolution to disputes in the South China Sea and damming in the Mekong River. Vietnam and the United States also enjoy strong people-to-people -people relations through exchanges, educational programs, and the funding of health initiatives. However, the United States' relationship with Vietnam cannot reach its full potential until there are improvements in Vietnam's human rights situation. They, they discussed uh, human rights. The United States, said U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam David Scheer, pursues the improvement of human rights in Vietnam very, very vigorously. We've spoken to the Vietnamese in very specific ways about what they can do to improve human rights, including releasing more political prisoners, releasing all political prisoners, including uh, improving the conditions of worship, uh, including the, the improvements in, in freedom of religion. We have asked them to ratify the Convention Against Torture. Internet freedom is another area of particular concern. The Vietnamese government passed a decree in August that will impose further restrictions on the way the Internet is accessed and used in Vietnam. The Vietnamese government also continues to crack down on bloggers and dissidents. Human rights are a central part of the U.S.-Vietnam relationship, said U.S. Acting Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, Scott Busby. It will remain a central part of our relationship and we will continue to make that point to Vietnamese officials whenever and wherever we need them. That was Policy Brief, a presentation of the policies of the United States government.